Good evening guys, this is Sima. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to learn how to make LED integration into glass railing handrails. There are different types of LED integration into the glass railings like LED inside the handrail, LED under the handrail, edge lid glass railings, cap rail with LED channel etc. Today the model which we are going to make and practice the same steps you can follow for any type of LED integration into glass railings. To understand more about this glass railings, let's refer this website. I will provide you the link of the website in the description of this tutorial. It's uh, very good if you want to refer and practice to make the 3D model and the lighting effect of glass railing. Or if you know some other website or the manufacturer which you usually refer, you can follow the same. Here if we scroll down, here we have the download section. Click on the catalog and you will be directed to this PDF which is very brief about the different types of profiles the dimension, the thickness of the glass, different mounting types, etc. Here are the different profiles, different mounting types and the effective page numbers which you can refer to go and learn more about the profiles. Let, let's consider this profile. This is mounted on the floor. Type of mounting is floor built-in slab, right? And uh, this is suitable even for the curved hand railing. Now, what's the best thing here is they have this section details which will help us to make an accurate 3D model. This is the channel and inside will be LED, LED profile and on that inside channel will be the glass. Here are some images that shows a basic installation of this type of lighting. Okay. Now first we will start with constructing this 3D model by referring this section drawing here. This is the channel we have. It is of 75 mm. Okay with the 75 mm. So we'll go to the dialogs. I will consider now just a empty project. I will draw some floor element. Okay now I will place the object. Now width of this channel is 75 mm. Okay 75 mm you have to convert it in meters because in the dialogs we follow meter scale right 75 mm is 0 0.075 meters okay we will change it here 0 0.075 meters okay you can do it manually next is let's keep the length of this as one meter itself okay the next dimension is its height what should be the height of this channel it is 120 mm 120 mm is 0.12 meters right so if we will change it here 0 0.12 meters go to the 3d and check see this is your channel create color material give some gray texture because it is a metal if you want you can give some reflective coating but doesn't matter and replace material done i'll save the project now next step is inside this channel there is a cutout okay here they have not marked what is the cutout but this these two are glasses right the thickness of each glass is 12 mm 12 mm and 12 mm okay and approximately both are around 25.52 mm so we can keep the cutout as 25.52 mm this 25.52 mm is 0 0.025 so what we will do we will copy the same cube Control c Control v here in the width we will change it width to 0 0.025 clear go to the side view and zoom to the object next is we have placed the cube for the cutout next is how much inside it has to be okay here it is mentioned it should be 28 28 mm above the floor so 28 mm is 0 0.028 keep this selected 0 0.028 done till here clear once this is done select this one hold the shift key and select the next cube go to the boolean operations whichever is appearing in orange color that is the difference you're going to have you have to be in subtract now it is correct suppose if you change it to other it is in blue whatever the difference the result you get after the subtraction highlighted here in orange okay but this is not the one we want we want the other one to be cut like this so we will do this we'll select this cube and subtract done see we have made the led channel next is we have to place led profile inside this channel you can get the led profile from 
lead linear go to their website products outdoor luminaire and you can choose vario led or other profiles which you feel works well for this application you can easily get the is files from their website select the specs which you need you can configure or else you scroll down and click on the is files and directly download the zip file now this is the one i have selected led linear of 15 watts with 450 lumens it is rgb led strip okay now next is we will place this led strip inside this channel so place individual object place it here rotate and position it inside that channel zoom in and position it accurately go to the side views here is the led profile switch on the light distribution curves and you can properly place it we will place LED strip like this exactly inside this channel clear till here next step is we need to make these two glasses they are two glasses not just one they are two glasses and each glass is of thickness of glass 12 mm that is 0 0.012 to make the glass go to the construction select a cube place individual object thickness of the glass is 12 mm that is 0 0.012 okay then width and height we are not going to change because we need our glass to be of one meter itself we will position this glass inside our channel like this where your cutout starts position it exactly there okay now copy this Ctrl C, Ctrl V. The next glass to hold this and move it from where your cutout of the channel starts, like this. Be very careful in the positioning of your glass rails because if you are not placing it properly, your light effect won't be correct. Now, to give the glass texture, it's simple. Create color material, make it white. In the properties, change from metallic to transparent. Glass railings are transparent. Okay, you can clearly see them. So we can keep the transparency around 90 degree of transmission. Reflection factor, let's keep it 5. Refractive index 1.5. Once you have set this properties, we will replace the material. Done. Let's add some texture for the floor element. I will add this now. Now we will change the color to go to the lamps, change LED and keep it blue apply once you are done with all your settings i will keep it dark because you need that led effect to be clearly visible run the calculations wow this is your led integrated glass railing now this is about one meter suppose if you want to have sections of this uh, glass railing you just need to copy and arrange and check the result output let's do that further we'll go to the construction plan view top view select this copy and arrange because when you select with copy and arrange your objects plus the is files everything will be selected together once this is done you can group it okay here then select the move tool go to the plan view ctrl c ctrl v and position it you can leave some gap here because when two glasses are there there will be joints to attach them right so we will keep some gap not much a little gap let's copy again ctrl c ctrl v paste it here just some gap not much this much is enough once you are done this channel the below channel doesn't has to be in in the sections you can make one full channel like for example let me just delete this one and scale it so it, it is around three meters right so we'll keep it here manually three meters and position it properly done once this is done run the calculations and check the results and this is the result output you can even see the edge glow because we left some space between each glass if you follow continuation you will not be having such glow effect but if you keep it in sections you will be having that glow effect so this is how you create a led integration into glass railing in the dialog Sevo. now there are other few things which is important see in dialogs we don't have option to render the glow effect or the lens effect or the bloom effect right so if you save the view suppose if you save the view like this 
and if you ray trace it you will not have this effect in the rendering okay let's let's see that see there will be no effect in the ray tracing in the rendered image because in the dialogues we don't have option for rendering the glow or bloom effect or the lens effect right so instead of doing the rendering you can keep the raw image because this looks much better right other thing is you can try this with different glasses now i have used plain glass okay you can even repeat the same steps for your textured glass let's see that with an example let's select some glass texture image and and I will select this one copy image go to the dialog create texture material use clipboard material type transparent degree of transmission around 80 to 90 percent reflection factor 5 or 10 is enough refractive index 1.5 now replace the material once this is done run the calculation and see the results in the results too you can see that slight textured glass effect too without rendering next is let's check the different color effect now we use blue let's check for red apply run the calculation this is the effect with red led in the display options you can adjust the brightness too other important thing is when you see this glow effect you can see on one side on the other side the glow effect is not so strong why the reason being if you go to the plan view here our the thickness of this glass is just 12 mm okay and when we are positioning in the dialogues okay when you choose this move tool and you are positioning there will be slight difference in the positioning okay like for example this is a channel and this is your glass one and this is the glass two if you see this glass two is it is little bit inside the channel okay that's the reason i'm not getting that glow effect on the other side even if you try to adjust in dialogues you can't zoom into that, that small level because it, the values are in point zero zeros but that's all right because you're getting the glow effect on one side this glass railing is illuminated from the bottom side in your application in your project maybe you're illuminating it from the top side let's check that too i will discard the calculation keep it in the daylight okay for that first let's copy everything same i will go to this tool copy and arrange select all move ctrl c ctrl v now here if i assume that led strip the channel is positioned at the top side for that i can simply just rotate because i want this to appear like a top plate now let's run the calculation and check the results if there is any issue let's see how to fix it too calculation is completed and with this step there is too much of spill light of green at the bottom of course because we don't have anything at the bottom we just have the glass so it's important that we have this channel even to the bottom even if we see it practically to mount it on the floor that will have some channel right so we'll just copy this ctrl c ctrl v go to the side views move it to the bottom rotate it and position it properly now let's run the calculations again and check now it's much better the glass railing the effect of the light is much better if we place the channel below led profile at the bottom or you are placing the led profile at the top of your glass railing refer the catalog of the manufacturer study this channel construct it accurately as per this and then run the calculation you will be having the results this one is with blue you can see this effect nice now this way you can make any type of glass railing be it straight like this or you can have the curved balcony railing too or suppose if you want this effect for your staircase railings you can do this too the procedure is same and another one part is suppose if you have different color of glass okay like a tinted glass you can choose the color of the glass if you don't know the hex you can go to the color catalog choose the color you need like suppose i need it to be say i need the violet color this one okay i will change the material type from painted to transparent degree of transmission let's keep it 70 reflection factor 5 refractive index 1.5 you, you can change the degree of transmission if you want that pink tint to be more darker like like this now the degree of transmission is 50 replace the material run the calculations done 
now here in between those edges in the sections you can see the tint of pink in the glass edges suppose if you want to have some other color light effect instead of standard rgb suppose if you want to have pink color light how do we do that we'll go to the plan select your luminous in the lamps the cct should be keep it 3000 then go to the filters select catalog filter catalog you have color effect filter from here you can choose what color you need okay suppose i need this one i will double click apply apply this color has transmittance value of only 6.8 percent that means the light it will allow only 6.8 percent of light to pass through it rest all it will block so when i run the calculation and check the results the light output will not be that bright as we had in our previous calculations let's check that see here though i got that color effect the one which i had chosen, but it is not that bright now i use different color effect filter i use the pink with better transmittance value and i will show you how to adjust the color effect again you can go to the display options and you can increase or decrease your brightness level so you see the proper light effect plus you can change the white balance see, even if you change the white balance you can see the different color of the light i have explained in detail about this white balance in my other tutorial you can refer that if you want to learn more about the white balance for now if you are using the rgb lighting or the color effect filters even then you can use this white balance setting to to get the exact color of what you had chosen for this one i had chosen this color more of a pink color so in the white balance if i adjust i have to get that color effect something this one it is same to the filter i had chosen right this is the correct effect so this is how you make led integrated glass railings so this is it guys in this video if you found this video helpful do hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you